everyone. Welcome back to another messy ass episode of Sip and Spill, where we create conversations. Oh wow. Sip and wine. I go by the name of Thug Motherfucking Sammy. And I'm ambitious, fine ass Teray. Okay. Hey, I like that. I like that. Girl. Hey, I like that. Every fucking day I'm somebody new. All right, before we get started, I want to get a shout out to all our essential workers. Thank you guys for being the front lines of handling things because I am not built for that. I'm not built for it. Period. At all. <laughs> you know what? I'm just at home sitting my ass, co- collecting my government checks. I love government <laughs> checks. I'm cooked. Yeah, you know, we're unemployed. 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 Unemployment life, okay? Okay. Hello? Getting the unemployment checks. Making uh, me feel check. very essential. <laughs> Lucky. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into anything, we're here to introduce our lovely ass guest. John. I am you know, I'm Nigerian. And today we're gonna talk talk. Yes, we are. <laughs> so let's get into some icebreakers, man. That is a ghetto ass <laughs> intro that I just witnessed. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> We're going to do a little would you rather game. Okay, would you rather? <laughs> okay. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather? Fight a hundred duck sized horses mm-hmm. or one horse sized duck. Is that for that me? That's for you. I'm neither. You, ha- you have to choose. Have you played Would You Rather? Would you rather? rather? You no. can't not. Cho- You've never played Would You Rather? No. Sorry. What? <laughs> I'm not from here. I've been so, here, what, 13 years? Have you years? never played Would You College? And 13 years is long <laughs> enough for you to be able to play that. You definitely. But anyways, pick one. Pick one. You can't say the first option. The first option. You'd rather fight a hundred hundred uh duck duck sized horses? That's a lot. So you think you that strong? Yeah. Nigga. Okay. Duck sized horses? That's huge. There's a hundred of them. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I got one more for you. Would you rather lose your sex organs or gain three hundred pounds? So that means you have no dick or you're fat. Or no balls. Lose my sex organs. You'd rather be, you rather have no, no dick and balls? You can't do anything if you're 300 pounds anyways. Yes, you can. What are you going to do? Have you not seen my 600 pound no, life? They always that. have a boyfriend or girlfriend. They always have a small as hell, like, but they don't, what they do? I don't, they do eventually do leave them, but <laughs> it's the fact of the matter is, you know what? Some niggas rather just be skinny, you know? They're not, they're not fuck. He can still. I don't believe that. Maybe he. I can still pleasure maybe, the woman. If I'm six hundred pounds, I can't do anything with my legs. Dry you say six hundred. Say three hundred. That's still big. Well, no, there's some thick ass three hundred pound niggas. Football players, you know, they be like, like two eighty, like okay. But you, you said fat. You didn't say. Th- we didn't. That all other we didn't specify. I'm gonna say yeah. We didn't specify. But you said gain. You didn't say R three hundred. There's a difference. Nigga, I said gain three hundred pounds. Period. It could have been three hundred pounds of muscle or fat. You mm, chose and you chose to be chose. fat. So he chose not to have a dick, lady. Okay, <laughs> to have a dick. <laughs> Yo, so, that was it. Was a lose lose. No, it wasn't. Anyways. It wasn't. It definitely was you could have just been a fat nigga, fucking bitches. Period. No, you know, he couldn't be. Because you remember, he either have no sex organs or be 300 pounds. And he said he'd rather be 300 pounds. So, so he could have been a fat nigga? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you want to be a fat nigga fucking bitch? Okay, that's fine. That's cool, too. That's cool, too. All right, so there's a segment that we have on our show where we tell our fun guests facts. our fun fact. Mm-hmm. So do you have a fun fact about yourself? Um, Besides the fact that you're Nigerian. That's not a fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I've lived in what five, six countries. Ooh. I speak four languages. You're cultured. I am visited thirty plus. Oh, you're fancy. How old are you? Thirty. Thirty. Oh, you're thirty. Thirty, yeah. thirty. I did not think you were that old. I mean, I, not. I'm not saying you're old, no, but you don't. You don't no, look as old as you are. I thought you were our age. Yeah, probably like twenty six, twenty seven. I figured so. Figured uh, so. I mean, uh, I saw you just graduate in 2018. Oh, so you just came on my page. Hello. Did you follow her? No, I didn't. So that's, some, creep it? that's real weird. Why not, would you not creep and not hit the follow button? It's not a creep, though. It is a like, creep. If you going to be on her page, hit that follow button. If you going to be on my page, you better hit that follow button. You better hit that follow page. You followed me, though, right? So I followed back. It don't matter. a conversation already. But why would you be on her page and not hit the follow button? Because I don't I haven't met her. I mean, after tonight, I will. bitch. He going to follow me today. Okay. Hello. And then it, I mean, it's my so your culture, also, can you, you, know can you speak a language for us? Can we hear something? What are the languages? Yeah. yeah, I speak English, French, Igbo, a little Arabic, a little German. Oh, do a little something. Come on. Uh, et ton journée. Oh, 
There you go. That, that, that's the shit that makes the bitches' panties laugh. <laughs> you know? You know? Big they were like, facts. so right. big He said, he's especially about friendship. I know. Oh, fresh, fresh, fresh me out my pants, nigga. She said, fresh me out my pants. Fresh me out my pants. No, I'm kidding. And I'm sure he's done it before. And I knew, I was going to say, I bet you. You know what? what? I'm going to do for this episode. (laughs) You want to say your fun fact, girl? My fun fact is my dream vacation is Thailand. I know I talk about, you know, Orlando Studios all the time so I can get on my potter and shit. But I think the greenery in the world, and I just feel like being so serene and here with Nigga, the are nature. You in school? Why is your hands up? Hold on, can you wait? I need to interrupt can I, her. No, I no, need to finish. Let her I need to finish. finish fun fact. I need to finish my fun fact. And then it's like I don't know, but the universe is telling me buy that ticket because every time I look on Hopper, it's like seven hundred dollars for one week in fucking Thailand. And I'm like, bitch, say less. So you can interrupt now, sir. I mean, you can use your stimulus package for that. You feel me? Don't disrespect me. If you watched last episode, <laughs> I, uh, I said that shit's going to be saved. Okay. So with that being said, okay. I'm going to sit and wait until I get some more Trump bucks, and then I'm going to use those on my $700 ticket to Thailand. Are we getting another round of Trump bucks? No, but I'm just saying. I my, heard, yeah, someone told me we were supposed to If we are. I don't think that's in Canada. That's, that's probably Canada. Canada. No, but, but like some dude was like, yeah, he's like holding on to the thingy, the jig, something. I, like, I, I mean, if we do, because he's trying to reopen. Yeah, the world. and they're trying to reopen too soon. Yeah, I got too comfortable girls. not doing shit. So. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm ready. To put my I know. Back out there. I know, right? The world need to see my ass. And the world need to see my ass. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to pop my pussy. Okay, shake my mm-hmm. ass. I'll okay. be in the scammer nigga section. Hello, all that shit. Wow, why well, he gotta be a scammer? Because he's Nigerian. Nigerian. I'm Nigerian and I pop. Mm. I'm okay, not so a my, my you're not a scammer? Hell no. Okay. I have a good, legitimate job. Got have you ever been on 90 Day Fiance? No. Mm, I don't believe him. <laughs> if he was, I'm we would have seen him. 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 I'm picky, picky. I don't, no, I don't play with that. I don't, I don't All right. Know. So what my fun fact is I went to a Catholic school for middle school. Did you really? I did. I'm a Catholic. Mm. I'm I a private school kid. I can't see that. Me too. Honestly. Yeah. Only, only for Bonding. like middle school, you know. Uh, once I got to high school, school I went. he was popping pussy on the handstand. Actually, uh, no, not at all. I, I went to a public <laughs> school. <laughs> no, actually, I was a very like cool, calm, collected. Yeah, kid, I wasn't like crazy yeah. or bad. I was really good. I mean, I have African parents, so it's not like I could like. I have African parents, but my parents are like really Americanized. So. I, I have like Nigerian, well, Nigerian, Nigerian parents, like first. Sir, don't come here making assumptions about thing. me. I mean, you already said it last episode. So I sure me, did, but I still, think. it's for me to say, and y'all to listen. I'm done with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, the right. first time I saw like girl on girl action was in a Catholic school in London. It was interesting. Girl on girl action. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Like, so you're a peeping tom. Mm-hmm. No, I was in the room. <laughs> oh, you was in the room. You know, I was like, oh, man. I hear you. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to introduce the wine. This is called the Okay. It's an Argentina wine. It's a Malbec. It's best paired with beef, lamb, and poultry. And you're going to have a taste of chocolate, coffee, and it's aged in almond and pecan. That sounds disgusting. You think so? Honestly. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's not, that's all that. I'm <laughs> 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 um, you. <laughs> I'm used to hearing like it's like berries you know and sweet I mean? like so I'm it's a go. dark deep red wine. Uh, we gonna try it and we gonna it's still have it. both flavors. You're gonna fill it all over your palate. Does it um, mm. does it pair well with any vegan options? Bitch, I didn't look that mm-hmm. far. Yes, I'm plant based. She well, so she, far she no vegan. Okay, this is oh, like so she be eating my no. Oh, uh, Jesus. Bruh, no, like, why do I you? hate her? No. Are we that is fucking hell. Why is she like this? No. Oh, that's what y'all be doing? Mm. Tell us more. I mean, nah. I'm trying to find out. Nah. Nah. Anywho, but let's try this. I don't know yet. You, you know what? I do. He let you do. Uh, this is her. not a conversation that we have with you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so let's have 13.5 alcohol contents. Oh, let's pour the guest first. Okay, I'm going to be nice. It's not open. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Bruh, Yo. you didn't open neither of them? None. I just opened them. She just took okay, can you stop off. the video then at least? Why? Bitch, because I don't have to edit this out. It's just a cut. I edit it's out so sexual. Uh, niggas don't care about us. Motherfucking never And if I stop the video, yeah. I don't know. It's behavior. still recorded though, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. So it's not the audio too. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's not open. <laughs> I was, I, I thought she knew, but I guess she didn't. <laughs> Alright. You know, it's open now. You saw how quick that was? That pop. Didn't waste no time. Shit, not me. 
We need to keep that on the video when we so like yeah, Is that absolutely. one open too? Okay, cheers to another messy ass episode of Sip and Spill. God help us. <laughs> Peace, will you? Peace, love, and prosperity. She was coming for you, too. Right? You saw how she was like, bitch, you better clink me. Yo, I'm dead. Mm. I like it. I don't taste any chocolate, almonds, pecans, or none of that shit. So I drank a Merlot last night. I'm very impartial to it. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not in love with it, but. I like it. Maybe if I throw some monkey shoulder in this bitch, we could probably turn it a whole new. Mm. That's what we're doing? That's Say exactly less. what we fucking doing. Same yeah, because it last. really has no taste, and I just drank a Merlot last night, and it was not. That's a Merlot. Jesus. Are you sure? I don't think so. As long as we're going to be sipping. Oh, well, that's Did true. you want some? No, I'm good. I like okay, it. She's not. You do have to go back to work, right? Yeah. Okay. Well. I mean, I'm working at home, but. He's an essential worker, y'all. Okay. Well, shout out to you. All right, trying to get, trying to get in some tea time. Tea time. Go on Instagram. Okay. And I just happened to be on Sauce Walker's page and How did you Who's happen? That? Sauce Walker, he's a Houston rapper. Uh, How long have you lived in Houston? Twelve years. I don't listen to like rap like what, that. What do you listen to? I listen to African music, French music. Uh, you don't I, you have know, friends? I have friends. Okay, so when you go out <laughs> to the clubs, what do you listen to? What the clubs is playing. And the Clubs is playing Sauce Walker. Nah, uh, Sauce nah. Walker hasn't been nah. in the club I mean, but if he's been now. here for 12 years nah. and he's 30, I mean, I, I he's been in the college. Houston Baptist and then U of H. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, so Sauce Walker <laughs> is a Houston rapper and uh, he is managing these OnlyFans account for his, I guess his whores Ooh. because he's well, Why do I have any whores? What do you call, what do you call them? Prostitute and a hoe, right? I call them, damn. What do, what do, what do pimps have? Pimps have workers. Yeah, workers. Workers. Sex we're, workers. Sex workers. We're going to, we're going to uh, take like the, you know, because people call them a whore. Yeah, that's, 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 that's 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 that sounds really whore. negative. That sounds really negative. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really. Whore. And we don't, we don't slut shame here, okay? We're going to just put them oh, in no. the areas of sex workers. Sex workers. Cause, yeah. You know, that could be porn. That could be, you know. Whatever the fuck you want it to be. Okay, so we will say that. So he has uh, sex workers. He manages his three sex workers only in fans count, and one of them have, happens to be his assistant also. That's awkward. And but he said they make a lot of money. The uh, one of them oh, yeah, made four hundred thousand dollars selling feet pictures. Wow. Last month. Last month. In Who month. the fuck wants to see my butt pictures? No, like there's people out there that love that shit. Can you point them in my direction? I mean, you just have to build your. your I can't time. build that shit. I need people to like send referrals. Like y'all like feet? Send it this way. I would love to sell feet pictures. Like if there's a way that I can make money doing that, I'm so down to do that. Like, I'm know, down to make. No, that's fans. actually like a thing. Yeah, because um, y'all ever seen Orange Is the New Black and they were selling like used panties? That's a thing too. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if anyone out there wants to buy my fake pictures, I'm willing to sell them. I got pretty feet. I mean, pretty Not right now because being quarantine, but I did get like a little gel uh, nail polish and a little gel uh, Let me UV see. light. Not now. I said oh. not right now because we're in quarantine. Oh, okay. But I ordered something so I can get my toes and feet done. So you know what? I won't be getting for too long. I did my own feet and they look pretty pretty. You feel me? Yeah, mine's pretty oh, quarantine, so it's I not pretty on top of it, but. Yeah, I definitely did, okay? They look pretty good for for being at home. Okay. Right. So those of you who know us, y'all know we are huge Beyonce Day Fiance fans. I love it. Okay, I watch Day Fiance all the time, all the fucking time. And there's this character. Well, I'm calling him. He is a character. He's, he's a, a character. fucking character. Okay. Uh, his name is Ed. Ed. Fat ass Ed. Fat ass, no neck, cabin ass, sweaty ass, bitch ass, is stupid ass, dumb ass, ass, ass. Yes, eleven. I mean, four eleven ass Ed. All of that shit. The one with the Asian girl. Yes. yes. I saw a clip on Instagram. Did you? Yes. Tell us your take on it after we get into some messy ass shit with his messy ass. So he was um, trying to tell his fiance that her breath doesn't smell. Oh, I saw that. Okay, that's <laughs> that's what I I sent that episode to Sammy. I was like. If he don't got anything else, this nigga got the audacity. Okay, let's tell the, story. Let's tell the story first. Let's tell the story first. Let's okay. Tell the story first. So, would you want to be like, yo, your breath can, can, can we tell story. the story first? Okay, so the clip was showing him buying her some toothpaste and some Listerine because he was like, your breath smell. 
And she said that it was all because of like a medical issue. She had an ulcer. Ulcers. Yeah, she had an ulcer, and that's the reason why her breath smells. And so, let's just make it a short, a long story short. Throughout this whole season, you see Ed disrespecting her constantly and making it seem like he's the good guy, like he's putting her on. Mind you, you know she does not live in a country like the United States where she might have access because you've seen the way she lives. So I'm not saying that her family's hurting for anything, but her norm is not the same as Ed's. So continuously throughout the season, you see this man constantly always making the effort to do certain things to make it seem like he's the good guy and he's putting her on and he's doing things for her. And I don't like that because that's some fuck nigga shit. Because if you, honestly, this is how I feel. <laughs> Before you fix your face to make any faces, I'm just saying, personally, if you love someone or if you care someone like you do, like you're saying on the show, you would do that shit not on, you wouldn't do that on camera. That's all I did. Why, of course. You do, why, you, why is the camera, like, anything to do with him wanting to show her like yo I, I, I feel this way because you don't want to that's, 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 that's embarrassing that's embarrassing Period. if I if I cared about you and I noticed your breath smell I'm going to pull you off to the side where there's no cameras I'm not going to but isn't there the life of cam uh, on camera all the time yeah, no, I mean, it's not because there's the episodes not. where they kick people out to like talk about yeah, certain things, things. Oh. So and then you not don't even, have to always. And then there was another episode when he was telling her to shave her legs, like sir. I mean, that's just common. Okay, she's not from this country, so if you're dating someone that's from a different country, you have to understand she. How do you know and she can afford a razor? And universally, let's be real. If we're gonna talk about universally, if you're really feeling a nigga, you ain't gonna have to tell me that my fucking legs need to be shaved. Hello? The fuck I'm already doing it. Exactly. You're okay. proving her point. Okay. My point. But still, I just don't think that you need to embarrass her on like national, national television. television in front of millions of people. But like like nigga, like you got something to bring. You That's got the money, only thing. apparently I heard. Does he? Hmm. More than her. He might. Well, everyone got money more than the rose, but <laughs> that's not the point. The point that's not is, the point. you don't have to say that in front of everyone else. Just put it in, just okay. put it in off the Disre side. Okay, what's your Disregard that fact, right? Okay. He went at it as politely and as loving as anybody could. Because Ed likes to show, put up a front that yeah. he's this nice, cool, yeah. loving guy when he's really not. He is going to a country where she she know he knows she's poor he knows that she's uh what's the word for it the 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 man's yeah. no he love, knows though. that she needs these things that he wants someone he can control because he knows that she has no one else she, he knows she wants to come to america yeah. we all know she wants to come to of america course. Duh, that's the point mm -hmm. so he is like almost he talks to her like she's a child if you ever notice when he speaks to her i mean i've he, seen like four he clips, belittles he's her. Four clips. <laughs> he, belittles like, her. he talks to her like she's a child he yeah, like he whispers like this baby talk like it's like she's a grown ass 23 year old woman Stop treating her like she's a child. But that's besides the point. The reason why he's in this country trying to get this girl, because ain't no bitch in America trying to do with this fat, ugly, short ass. Uh, okay? Uh, no one's gonna, he hasn't been in a relationship for 20 is. years. <laughs> it's for a fucking reason. It is a fucking reason. If my breast stink, be my man and tell me my breast stinks in private. Don't tell me my breast stinks in public. Because I got a problem with that. And, and I'm fighting. He was really polite, though. That's the. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how polite. It doesn't matter how polite you are. I ain't even buying no toothbrush, no toothpaste. That's face. Nigerian in him, y'all. Don't fuck with that shit. You better find a loving man. That's gonna love. Oh, I'm him. very He's, loving. I'm He's loving. Very loving. Oh, I'm that was too. Aggressive. Like how you I'm said, how you how you said you loving was real aggressive. I don't feel the love out no, of your heart. Like I'm, I feel like if you say I'm really loving, you gotta change the tone. Like I'm really loving. I ain't gotta do all that. That's not even the point. The point is, the point is, you don't do that in front of other people. I understand what you mean. That's all we're saying. Is don't because I wouldn't want anyone to do that to me in front of other people, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, look you gotta at that. We see your heart, we appreciate exactly. That. exactly. That's the only thing that, that's what makes him a fuck nigga. Okay, yeah, so tell us your story that you were talking about. Bro. Not right, really, so. there's some good men out there. I'm a good man, so you know. Every man, <laughs> what man's gonna be like, I'm a fuck nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna admit that shit. <laughs> no one's gonna admit that shit. Like, what? That just fucks okay. it over to <laughs> right? <laughs> But anyway, so I was watching someone's Instagram live, and I guess she's like a therapist or something, and okay. the uh, lady came on her live, and she was like, I have a husband, and he's sick, and he's dying, and I am currently looking for a stepdaddy for my children, oh, because really? I know my husband is about to die. Okay. You know, he's about 25 years older, she's in her early 30s, he's 65 plus. Okay. So, she married she, for the she maybe we don't know we don't know that we don't know why or how she met him all we know is that she got an old ass nigga he about to die 
and she had a she had a baby, a baby baby, From and him? she. You can have a baby at any age as a man. Yeah, as a well, man. Well, you know, yeah, I'm saying, but like, you said, how old was she? They're married. That's her baby. Oh, okay, yeah, they're okay. they're they're together. Ah, okay. But he's um he's he's he, he's not on his deathbed, so she is looking for another man while she is still currently married to him and he's still alive. I think that's some fuck bitch shit. Like that's fucked up. But Ami does it, so let's go talk about. You let's don't. Talk about I, you, yes and no. Um, I Why? <laughs> I think that any woman trying to secure. Like her security moving forward, it's not really a fuck bitch shit. It's just being mindful because you want your kids to be taken care of. I mean, could it be viewed that way? It's she also can't take care of your own kids by herself. Being a so single mother is not fun. It, I mean, this being a, a thousand, single mother a thousand is single moms not, out here doing it, and they don't like that shit. Not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. Fun. Let it's the not man easy. be in the grave in the ground six feet under. Okay, so. I understand first. y'all under saying that she should wait till he dies first. But you want to get ahead of the curve sometimes. Like you know, when you study for a test, you want to make sure you don't fail. And for her, she just wants people to know, I'm gonna be single. My husband is dying. Help a bitch out. <laughs> that's, that's really her take on it because I mean I hope your man I, listens to this and I hope Bro. that he understands that you know sometimes people are looking out for themselves would I do some shit like that no do I blame you her for doing that say what you agree with it I'm not agreeing with it but I Just understand you agree with it doesn't mean, mean that you would do it. do it I agree with girls doing porn does that mean I'll do porn no yeah. <laughs> but honestly yeah you have to think about some people's mindset maybe because you honestly don't understand how people were raised some people were raised off of love some people were raised off of survival and her doing this is showing she was raised off her survival. She's doing things to make sure that she's gonna be good moving forward. Now, if her husband doesn't know she's doing this shit, that's some fuck bitch shit. So I'm assuming he has to have some conversation with her because I saw this one movie that this woman knew that her husband was dying and he told her to find another, to find another, another person. Yeah, that's exactly. Another so that's the only reason why I have that mindset because sometimes the partners are telling you like, find someone so you're not by yourself. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why if I didn't see that movie, I'd be like, yes, bitch, you fucked up. Why are you out here doing that dumb shit? Yeah, I only think it's a fuck bitch shit. Not really about the part about her finding the man. It's because you're not giving yourself any, any time, time to, to grieve, to grieve yeah. or but grieve or any of that. It's just, just jumping into nigga something else. Already. But maybe she doesn't want to grieve, honestly. I, shit. To I her, that's what it costs in the future. But honestly, like, to her, honestly, but to her she, he's probably already dead. Because... She's I, probably been dealing with it for so, so long. So long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, now so it's exactly, like, exactly. Okay, so we do not know what now. position she's in. Yeah. But I don't blame her. I wouldn't do it. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make sure so that, that kids are taken care of. That's your kids I'm coming closer to the middle. I'm glad. That's what you were looking for. I just, I just think you should just, you should just wait to heal a little bit. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, I, like already in a relationship. If she's trying to get into something else with someone, she's well, so she wasn't with this man for any emotional connection. Because, like, you know what... God is real. So what if he ends up not dying? Right. right? And is she in a relationship she, with some other nigga? But so it's like honestly, if she's broadcasting the fact that she's looking for someone, she's looking for a relationship with security, not for one of an emotional yeah, foundation. Yeah, so true. it so it'll be easy to get all that shit. Like oh, my baby daddy alive. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I thought he was dying, niggas alive. Like, yeah. <laughs> so honestly, do what you gotta fucking do, bitch, and get your motherfucking coin. And if your <laughs> husband don't die, bitch. We here for you. We gonna talk about you in a few episodes. Let's surprise, bitch. I should like follow her and keep up with you. You should. It's very yeah. important because yeah. like, like we all here reporting news, and I want to report. I want to know if the husband I, dies or not. Bitch, and I hope you know. I mean, this is not a goddamn thing. I don't know. Like I just maybe I, I, they can start like a a dropple. Like, maybe she they. This, how do we get there? We got there because she's seeking something while she has something. That's how I'm taking she, from I mean, point obviously she to doesn't point have anything. Well, she's, seeking something else. Seeking, she's seeking security, not love. So, so it's exactly. really like it's really easy to get out of alive. Stuff. That is some fuck bitch shit. That's what she said. But yeah. I said she has her reasons for doing it. I said I don't agree with it, but I understand the reasoning behind it. Okay, right. so that gets us into our topic of conversation again. This is fuck niggas part two and how right. to spot them right. because y'all gave us such a great insight on our first episode because the fuck nigga that we had the first episode didn't show the fuck up so we had to find another nigga to come and defend them I'm not saying that you are uh-huh. not I saying that you are because he was he, he would try to come at me all oh, motherfucking episode I he won't be here that longer. she try to come at me sir sir okay but I'm just saying this is what it's about we're here to have a great debate so we can understand the mindset of what guys are going through and what got them to where they got and 
Blase, blase. We just need a male perspective. We do. We That's really what it was. We can talk all day about, about it. Fuck niggas and what we think fuck niggas do. But, but we, we don't, really don't know. We don't really know. So we're everything is opinion based. It's because of situational things. So that's why we're here to let you talk, John. What? Is a fuck nigga in your opinion? I don't or a bitch? A fuck bitch? Yeah, I know what a fuck bitch is. I know what fuck bitch is. Define it. Define it for us. No, like it's just honestly someone that you you can obviously tell. Just like I don't want to be what's the word? I don't want to you know I don't want to be like a judgmental person. But you okay. can look at someone and be like, yeah, I'm not fucking with her. You know what I'm saying? Because like she's like attention seeking. She's trying to be in the in the middle of the crowd. You know, she's at the same spots all every weekend. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but if she's at the she same spot every weekend. Colored hair, like, wait, gray, hold, like on, hold on, hold on. Aren't you at the same spot? Because I was like, because if you've seen her every weekend, you wouldn't see me there, there too. Weekend. So how, how do you know she's there every weekend? I mean, I, I got people that are out there. Oh, oh okay. But if she's showing her ass, and like, if someone is really trying to get you, like, we're in a section, okay. and a girl is like doing, like, she walked by us like five times. We're like, I right, just, I right, come on, just, I right, just, you know. That's some fuck nigga shit for you to say that. Because why would you insinuate that someone wants to come in your section just because they're passing your section? But she's time? looked, like, literally looked at us every single time. Yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. And then shook her ass, just like, gonna... just in front of us. We were like, Well, I don't go going? to clubs anymore, so I don't even know how the. Go to clubs anymore? No, I'm like more of like a lounge where I can just smoke a hookah type shit. Yeah, cause... that's what our address is. I don't go to the address. Oh. That's a club. That's it really that's, is. That's, when the lights that's... turn off, it's a fucking club. <laughs> I do not go to the address. I think I go to Prospect more than I go to the address. No. You can have your feelings uh, about Prospect. No, I love Prospect. Prospect I know, is I mean, nothing nah, wrong nah, to Prospect is lit. I right? love Prospect. But at the same time, like you just like it's it's. it's I don't want to be. I don't want to be. I don't want to be hypocritical because uh-huh. like a, a woman is gonna judge a man. Right, based on like what he has on at that, like that very night. Mm-hmm. Let's say a man has like a white that. t-shirt and some jeans, Trust and then me, his shirt is tucked in, his under his belt showing. She already knows that He's he got money. Nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I think someone that's flashing their money is a fuck nigga. Because if you want to, you are saying that y'all don't want gold diggers, but y'all are advertising to someone that you have money. But why? Why can't we? Why? Well, not we, why can't a, a guy just want to just show what he has on? Okay, the same. That's why you wear what okay, you wear, though, right? Okay, but for the same thing said for a woman, because you just said it, she's showing her ass. So if a woman is body positive and she's showing her ass, why is that a no, problem? But she's coming in the in our area. Why to is actually it, pop? What, like she what, can do it what, anywhere in the club. What makes this your area though? Just because you got a section. My section, now? yeah, hell yeah. Mm, fuck My section shit. is right here. Fuck Why you? Shit. There's the whole club. There's a patio. <laughs> there's a middle, and there's a club. Maybe, and then you won't come maybe, over here and do it. Maybe the fan and just hitting that area nah. real nice. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put my input on this. Yeah, I'm please. not gonna lie. When me and my girls want to get in a nigga section, we about to walk over there a couple times and wait for him to ask. Exactly. Them. That's the truth. Yeah. Exactly. And you know what? Ten times out of ten, they always fucking ask. So you want well, us in your so section? Just, okay. Yeah, like. Okay, but no. Can I relate? I don't. I mean, I'm just saying, like, no, I, mean, I, I go no. out frequently. Oh, I, I, well, I, before COVID, I, I go out frequently. I can tell. You can tell. Just like you just said, you don't want to be judgmental. I can tell. Just by how he's talking about how other females act. I'm like, oh, he, he knows. I'm going to say, say he must observe a yeah. lot of fucking females to have this, like, yeah. Oh, no. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I just, I got a thing last, what, March? And I just, you know, enjoyed my life. As you should. Yeah. There's nothing wrong oh. with going out. Honestly. And I mean, it's, and then that's one thing, right? Like, a lot of people think, like, oh, because a guy goes out a lot, you know, sorry. Uh, <laughs> because a guy goes out a lot, he's just, like, out here just trying to, like, fuck whatever and do this and do that. Like, I really just enjoy being out. out. I like, feel I wanna, that. You know, I want to hang out with my boys. I just really enjoy he going outside. He wants to do shit with his head by Exactly. I, I, do it. Yeah. Yeah. I really just want to go to a lot of house parties. Like, if I can do that Nobody for the rest of my fucking life. Anymore. I know. Can y'all I invited like, you to a house party. You didn't come. Anyways, so it was a nice house up. party. You should have been there. She's, she's <laughs> you, know, you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to lie on camera. That's what we're not going to do. It was okay? a nice house party. No, you did not invite me. This is what she told me. I'm going here. You can come if you want to. That's not an invite. That's not what I said. I did not say you can come if you want to. It was pretty I said come. I'm going to a party tonight. Want to come? That's not an invite. Because that is an invite. No, it's not. Because you She's know what? She's asking you to the freedom that you have to choose if you, you want, want to come. come or or okay, this is how it went down. Okay, because I'm a very detail-oriented person. Because I have to figure out. No, I really am though. I am. You got to tell me the time. You got to tell me if I'm bringing bottles or something. You got to tell me the energy I'm on. And she didn't give me none of that shit. So I said I don't have enough information to know. If you I'm going told around. me if you have the energy to come, you will come. But you, you never told me if you had the energy or not. You told me it was at eleven o'clock. 
When and then I was like, you know what? It's probably at night. During COVID, like the way that my energy set up around 11, I get tired. Okay, but then I told you. Because I be. Sleep schedule's been off. Exactly. I, I, I go to sleep earlier. More so like sleep nine later. after that. Yeah. Immediately after we that. Ain't doing after this. More like nine. Period. So let's get into this story about what fucking Sammy told me. <laughs> so, Sammy told me this story. How she was talking to this guy. This was like a few years ago. So she told me she was talking to this guy. They were talking for a while. What's a while? A couple months. A couple months. That's, not a while. Th- that's pretty much a while in girl time. It was like three months. Because three honestly, months. in girl time, like, we cut you off pretty soon. So I felt this woman for nine months and then I just dropped her. Okay, that's still, that's still one. Nine months and then what? Dropped, dropped her. her. Okay, but. This is Sammy's story right now. We'll get into you. Because well, that, 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 that was some fuck nigga shit right there. That was devil that was that was fuck nigga shit. So no, she said she <laughs> He felt like, like it was nothing. Like, like she was a bad habit or some shit. She might have was a bad habit. She okay. Probably, but anyway. You know what I'm <laughs> so Sammy was talking to this guy for a while, you know, they never did anything sexually. So she was just like, you know, blah 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 blah. It was nothing to just stop talking to him. So then she well, said Well say why I stopped talking to him. You stop why did you stop talking Tell to us, him? Please. Because I found out that he oh that he was okay so she went through his shit and she because like he left her at his house and she went through his shit and she found out that he was applying for a visa to be on ninety day fiance no he was applying to get the bitch to come to America okay that's still ninety day fiance type shit so yeah <laughs> not he, on the show what's, okay what's, not on the show wrong, what's wrong with applying for someone to come to okay America? but while you're talking to someone. He was in a relationship with her. So it's and like applying for her to come to America. Oh. So that's some fucking fuck nigga <laughs> show on his part. Oh, so she's not talking to him because she found good. out that this nigga was out here, you know, trying to find a fucking wife while you in my fucking bed. But mind you, they didn't have sex yet, so it didn't really fucking Why matter. Why in his house if you ain't fucking? So to go to someone's so house, you have to have sex? No, but I'm just saying. Okay, then. My kids. Ooh, child. He make a hand. Uh, that was not the really strange himself. comment to make. Why are you in his house if you're not fucking? Okay, passing so forward. This is why we don't, this is why we don't go to niggas' houses on the first date. Okay? Oh, this is exactly why you don't go to niggas' houses. Facts. Because they always think you want to fuck when you come over. No, okay. not so at all. Fast not forward. Right. But that, I'm just saying, it, like, just I'm also playing devil's advocate. Like, okay. I've had people that. come over and okay. we just hung out. Okay. Passing okay. forward. So she stopped talking to him, blah, blah, blah. But then we were having a conversation. She was like, yeah. And I saw the dick and he has a big dick, blah, blah, blah. So I said, you know, me being me, I was like, so why don't y'all have sex? And then she like told me the whole story and everything. I was like, oh, that's why y'all stopped talking. That's fucked up. So one day, Sammy just found this out. This is like was, months after yeah. we stopped talking. Yeah, and then she was talking about, and she found out she was bored one day. She was like, you know what? I want to see what his dick's like. And you know what? And I was like, you know what? You should fucking do it. So, <laughs> guess what? She had sex with him. She liked it. He liked it. It was great. And then, so we talked about it, like, you know, a few times after that. I was like, so you had sex with him? She's like, yeah. I said, did you call him? Why would I? Thanks. And I said... That's some fuck girl shit. Do y'all think that's some fuck girl shit? Like, that's not some fuck girl shit. Why not? Why do you not think that is? Because I feel like if I fuck you, I gotta at least check on you and make sure you feel good. Why do I have to call you after? Why? Why do we have to have a conversation? I don't about think it? you should have a conversation. Y'all both are some fuck niggas right now. Y'all over no, here like in agreement. Understood. Like we just it gonna do this. Honestly, it wasn't. It wasn't because like, actually, 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 it wasn't understood. Because when she she just pulled up to his house and he didn't have he didn't get the memo and she was like, I'm trying to fuck. He didn't know I was trying to fuck. He and so he like, was like, he was like, well, if you trying to fuck, well, let's fuck. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, no one's going to turn it down. Like, Of course not going to turn it down, but I just feel like I got some fuck nigga shit. Go over there. Fuck, like, y'all ain't talking months. You went and uprooted his life and probably his 90-day fiance bitch's life. Flex. And then you was like, I'm not going to take up on him? The audacity of you. Fuck nigga shit. That's the fuck nigga yeah. shit. I don't see why I had to have a conversation with him afterwards. I thought it was like understood. Like, no, it wasn't gonna understood. We're going to test the waters and then no. you, know, you, you know, you bite your and way. And she said they had like a few conversations. She was like, because I know he wanted his pussy. But I was like, mm. But she went over there. He got yeah, the like, So it's like now he probably and he already had like, the good. So like it's not like he was like trying to you know. Yeah. Like, you know what you got. Like you ain't worried about no woman. You know, they gonna come back regardless. Well, I never came back. <laughs> he like, asked me others. to come back uh, ever since, and I never came back, and I will never come back because it was a one time thing. <laughs> she just you wanted to know what it was like. It's, so it's like that's some real. That's some real fuck girl shit. And no. it was it was it was fun. He had a curve dick too. Call my nigga Captain Hook. Man. Okay. Those are the best. But uh, yeah, it's it was just a one-time thing. It'll never happen again. Yeah. That was a long time ago. That was, that's that's old Sammy. New Sammy. Right? I'm and glad that I'm in 2020. You know, 2020, we're growing and glowing, and we're yeah. not doing dumb shit like that. Thanks. So come on, tell us, John. Tell us the story, because you over here, you make it seem like you just a good guy. And I feel like uh, yo energy know. you give me, you did some fuck so shit. Do you have a, your own story when you've done some fuck shit, or someone has no, done some fuck yeah, shit I to mean, you? I mean, 
Back in the Gap, like. What is Back I mean, in the Gap? Because Back in the Gap probably be like three months, be six months ago. Yeah. Honestly, because niggas be lying. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas no, lying. No, I mean, you're not lying. What's going on? You're fucking us. It's not even. It's not even about that. Uh, I did. And he is like, Nigerian, y'all. What does that even mean? It's enough. That's all. That's all you have to do. That's how you start a conversation. I'm Nigerian. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm Ebo. I look good. Like I'm out here. Like, like, like come on. Good. Like I know I look. You gotta tell me nothing. No, <laughs> honestly, you tell honestly, me. that's the same energy. I'd be like, I'm like, bro, you want to talk to this fuck? What? Yeah. Hello. So you know, yeah. I'm not even mad at you for turning your phone on. Hello, yeah. go do it. Do what you gotta fucking do. Go on my IG. Like, okay. it's just a rap. Like, follow me on IG. Like, 500 likes. I'm just kidding. I don't got five hundred. I model on the side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, like I was dating this girl for literally like nine months. Like mm-hmm. we, were, we were doing everything. She was coming to the crib, cooking. That's I'd get so back cute. from work. Like I got a home cooked meal. She was cooking. Yeah. And, and, then, then, he dropped, and then he dropped. Then he dropped her like a bad habit. Let me, stop, let me stop you right there, ladies. Don't do shit for a nigga that's not your man. Don't be cooking for a nigga that's not your boyfriend. Well, what is she hungry? You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> what, don't, but don't, what if he's supplying the groceries? Like you, I, I, like you she always came to the house and cooked my food. I, I don't, don't you always like and she ate. I don't but believe in doing girlfriend shit with a nigga that's I, not I agree man. with you, but you also always are insinuating that women are doing shit they don't want to fucking do. Bitch, if I'm hungry and I'm at a nigga's house and I'm talking to, bitch, this is your house. I'm cooking and I'm sleeping in. And if you drop me like a bad habit, bitch, I'm gonna go to somebody else's house and do the same fucking thing if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's really woman empowerment. Like do shit because you want to do okay. it, not because a nigga. Yeah, like okay. no, but it's that like, too. Like, like you busted that pussy up because you. Wanted to, Facts. not because he asked you. Bitch, woman empowerment. That's true. Oh, that's the way you gonna spin it. That's true. That's, <laughs> no, that's, that's what it is. Yo, I felt that though. But I felt I that because I want he didn't ask. He didn't ask you, and I, and I feel like you and a woman is more willing. Cause I don't think this is, was you asking her to cook dinner. Nah. Exactly. Bitch, do it. I do. guess she's also kind of new. Like that's because like she thought she was gonna be a girlfriend. Yeah. That's why she no, was doing facts. it. Like, <laughs> but it's just I, I was just like, alright, I'm tired of this. Like I'm, you know, I'm good. You know, I just, I was like, hey. So you just one day woke up and said you was good. It wasn't one day. It was just like, this is not going anywhere. I mean, I also kind of already knew it wasn't going anywhere. That's why she's, she How wasn't my girlfriend. How far into it you know? did you know it did wasn't you know? going anywhere? I want to see me like six months in. So you talked to her three months after knowing it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Why? Like, I was comfortable. Like, I was, no, I was, I mean, I was no, that, that's a real thing, being comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's a problem. I didn't want to change. Like, I'm a creature of habit, me, myself. Mm-hmm. So like I mean coming home having food be her being there yeah you know like it's just I we got into a routine yeah and like I I, I like change right mm-hmm. but at the same time like that's like a huge thing yeah you know you letting always someone having, in your space yeah, and always having to have the energy. same energy exactly like energy has always been a big thing to yeah, me too. and like having to bring another person into my energy like mm-hmm. I was just like you know what I'm good I'll try to figure it out and I honestly was trying to like just. Work it out. Yeah, but it just it was just Kept not firing? clicking. Yeah, like I was just like, all right, you gotta go. What was she doing? What was the thing? No, it wasn't even her. It was you. I just knew like this ain't the woman for me. I mean, like, so ladies, that's that's you know what? That's a good conversation because a lot of us girls try to like build a man. Yeah, and make him don't into, build him. Like, Leave him. Man, that we want. No, but you know what? I'm not building niggas. Think, build I want me a nigga that's already built. Not even no, that. No, but I see, the thing is, like, the secret. I, sorry to cut you guys off. Like, no, you're fine. The, the secret, like, I, I tell this to, like, because I have a, I have a, I do a thing, like, every Tuesday, you guys should tune in, where I talk about relationships and stuff. But, like, so you have a podcast. Not a podcast. Like, I do it on IG Live with, like, one uh, of my buddies. Okay. Um, so, like, the thing I tell most people, like, I've learned this over the years. Like, let's say from, like, 28 to 30, mm-hmm. like, I've become a whole different person than I was before. As that. you should, though. Life is about an evolution. Right? Exactly. Like, you have to grow every day. And I tell people, like, the first 10 minutes or five, really, really five minutes a man meets a woman, he knows what he wants to do with her. Yeah. Like, that's facts. Like, if he know, oh, I'm just going to fuck. That's what he's going to do. But yeah. if he was like, I'm going to take her seriously, he ain't going to fuck up. Like, a man knows what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. And women don't understand that. I've been trying to tell women, like, once you get a hint of what he's trying to do, and that's not fucking with what you're fucking with, just, yeah, just go, leave. Go, just go, go, go the other opposite yeah. way. You know, like, I have a twin sister. And my little brother and sister are also twins. So, like, I've grown wow. up with women in my house. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm all for, like, women empowerment. Yeah. So, like, I, you know, I like I, I like a woman to have a voice. Like, my woman is going, we're going to be talking about every day. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, and, like, it also comes with maturity as well. Because three years ago, I won't say none of this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, growth is also good. But at the same time. Hashtag women, grow and grow. You know what I'm saying? Like women have to understand, like a man has knows what he's plans to do with a woman. Like, 
my bad homies like I'm not even know, that but a man has but, but no but no and that's good but I'm just saying men as, also have to mature and I think that sometimes men are stuck in a rut and they don't heal themselves I think they use because I always tell my friends they use alcohol as self care and they use going out as a distraction instead of just really sitting and dealing with what the fuck they're doing else. exactly and they fall into something else and they keep getting in that same rut of like bruh I keep fucking bitches and getting money but I'm not happy and that's 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 kind of sad. It is sad, because but you know that takes day, that's, that. I'm saying that takes growing up. So it's really it's very commendable that you're saying that because that's very appreciative. Give me some of that almond chocolate hate. <laughs> we still on our first class. <laughs> Right. Ooh, I'm on my third. No, we got that. We got the monkey. We got that monkey show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to my boy Hudson who put me on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. He so actually what think we? That was funny. I'm sorry. So what? Yeah. What happened? Because I told my boy that put me on that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go, you know, podcast with him and talk to him. Okay, He's so like, I don't think they're funny. I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. He said he don't. He doesn't think, think we're funny. Yeah. Suck my ass, bitch. Yeah. yeah. You don't think I'm funny? The thing is. Suck my ass. I don't know you. I've never seen you. So for all I know, nigga, you're not funny. Did you even laugh at your... He probably is one of them niggas that laugh at his own yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. That's like, I'm not hey, disrespecting hey, hey. him. Let him know that I said to suck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, we don't know you. So maybe you should come on the show. No, he can tell us. Well, like, no, he will. No, honestly, you could defend yourself. Because guess what? We're going to give you a run for your money. He's a fuck, nigga. What okay. they wearing? What they career? Okay. What they doing? Okay, yeah. okay. We got... Okay, well, <laughs> I'm coming <Hey>. up. <laughs> Okay, so ladies, if the nigga got a BMW, a 20, let's say 7 BMW, 150,000 miles on it, bitch, he a fuck nigga. If the nigga drive a charger, he a fuck nigga. Hello. If the nigga in the army, he a fuck nigga. Hello. If the nigga's a personal trainer, he a fuck fuck nigga. nigga. If the nigga cook, he trying to cook your way into some pussy, he a fuck fuck nigga. nigga. If he wearing brace set, sweatpants, and a fitted cap, bitches. He a fuck, fuck nigga. nigga. If he's a real estate agent, he a fuck nigga. If he if wears a personal hoop. trainer, he a fuck nigga. If he's, if he's wearing hoop earrings, he a fuck, he a fuck nigga. nigga. If he got some uh, nose ring on, he a fuck nigga. <laughs> if he African, he a double fuck nigga. Time uh, out. Time out. I gotta stop you on that. Like that's nonsense. First of all, if he African, <laughs> bitch, run. That's bitch. Needs that's, to chat home. Well, that's not, that's, Needs to motherfucking chat. Run. I mean, I understand y'all be hurt. I'm sorry. Honestly, let's be for great. Your hurt. I'm, I'm not even lying. Audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I not knew even, she was gonna do that shit too. Honestly, I've never been hurt by an African. I just wanted to agree with you. <laughs> Honestly, because no, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna lie. Because my mom has always dated Africans, and yeah. like. That's the older generation, though. You can't. And my can't, daddy is a fuck older, nigga. You can't. You can't. You can't put this older generation to the my, new generation. But, but guess what? But guess what? My daddy ain't even that old. My daddy's like probably like forty-seven. Fuck nigga. He's still in like the age bracket of being a fuck nigga. Cause my mom is 50, 40, 45. If he got ones on some some Nike ones, he a fuck nigga. He, so what isn't a fuck nigga then? Like I mean everything is like I mean there's nothing you, know you can what? do that's like, well, This is what I'm saying. You a fuck nigga and tell proven innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Period. all women are fuck. Whatever then. Okay, but this is what we're gonna give you a chance. How do you how do you describe their career, their car, their clothes for when you see a if fuck nigga? Tell me you in sales. What kind of sales? Ex- uh, you can't explain it to me. Uh, <laughs> you, you, I, I just automatically think you sound. Have you ever met a female drug dealer? Would you think that she's a fuck bitch? I've never met a female I, drug dealer. I respect that. I do too. I, 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 respect, I, I respect hustle. Your hustle. Right. Okay, bitch. Get if, you're, money. if you're a bottle girl, you. Mm, I would, on the side. Honestly, I, I honestly do right. think fuck fuck girls are bottle girls. I'm sorry. Like, straight up. Like, I don't think so. Do you know what they have to do to get? <laughs> okay, well, you just no, look like, for Okay, what no, kind of cars like, are they driving? What kind of clothes are they wearing? Yeah. I mean, same thing. Like, just like a, just like a dude. If you, if a girl is driving a Charger, like, I'm not even... Like, yeah, I'm, why the fuck are you so manly, bitch? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you drive... If you pull up with me and you driving a Charger, I'm like, oh. Yeah, bitch that pulls up on you, she a fuck nigga. Yeah. Like, she got other places to go. That's why she don't pull up on you. <laughs> like, if you pull up on me, I'm like, nah. Like, and then you tell me you walk at the strip club, but you don't dance. That's the fuck, fuck out of here. She could be a, like, a, a server. Why you walking no, around a strip club? We serve at a thousand places. That's true. What? I mean, he, the, like, like you said, you, not you, the same. It's not the same. Serving at a strip same. club and serving at a restaurant is not but the same. But you have to think about the perception. It's not even about the money. It's about the perception. So it's like if you're going into something with somebody and you're like, oh yeah, I work at a strip club, but I don't. Oh, I forgot to add one point. If he has an Adidas Adidas sweatpants, 
and a white shirt and a fitted cap, he a fuck nigga. I already said fitted cap. So okay. there's nothing a guy can wear or did do. You, did you say yeah. gray sweats? I did. Oh, gray okay. sweats is lit. What do you mean? It's comfortable. He's just That's, trying to show his print. No, it's comfortable. He's trying to show this is how big it is. I mean, if, if all these girls, all these girls that are wearing, you wearing tights, you a fuck, whatever. Maybe. <laughs> Shit. If you believe it, she already admitted she's a fuck bitch. Okay, <laughs> so maybe no, I'm not saying that. Nah, you no, did last time. No, actually, that was her. Was you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the thing is, if like I said, you a fuck nigga until proven good innocent. And the thing is, I ain't got shit to prove none of y'all. Am I fucking y'all? Nah. So I don't give a fuck if you think I'm a fuck bitch. Run it up. Like, Have y'all opinions. Colored hair shit, like yeah. When we get to someone with told, the blue, I literally, ink. I literally just told you I'm getting color in my hair. So you talking about me to my fucking face, nigga? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, especially when he got the dress in the back and the fade in the front. Like nigga, choose what? a hairstyle. Yeah. If you can't choose a hairstyle, you can't choose a bitch. So you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all sound real hurt right now. I'm like, just saying. I'm but saying, like, like, you, you hurt, hurt. That's why what I'm saying. You got a face in the front and dreads and <laughs> locks is, in the back. You the hurt. Thing is, the thing is, it sounds like we hurt, but y'all, I'm happy as fuck. <laughs> well, you I've got a, a man. So that's different. Like, I've never dated a guy without hairstyle. If you have a hairstyle, that's an all math now. Uh, what? A fade in the front and locks in the back, that's a no. Period. You dated someone with a booty? Huh? The, dated someone with a booty? A booty? Yeah. Is that what it's called? No, like no. it just has like it's just no. Like he's talking. It's like a little rat tail. Yeah. Like, no, 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 I mean no, when you have patch. a fade uh-huh. and then you have locks. Oh, in the back? Yes. Do people do that? Yes. yes. <laughs> and you, will, if you see a nigga like that, bitch, run. Uh, so what hairstyles do you date that? I mean, it's for the audience. Let's, you know, let's I like a nigga with a boosty fade. <laughs> that's what you said, a booty. Oh no, that's not nice. No, no, Lucy Bay? No, that's not. That's regular. That's a ducktail. Like that's yeah. a Dallas yeah. Yeah, yeah, that shit. Yeah. No, if you from Dallas, you a fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah. Why are you always agreeing to everything she says? I th- can I laugh? Nigga, do I agree with Are you from Dallas? Life? I've never been to Dallas. I can't, in Dallas. I can't even I'm a cowboy well, fan. I, what you mean? I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. I'm offended by everything, y'all. I'm not offended at I all. Swear. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to speak for the fuck niggas. And if you ain't a fuck, nigga, a fuck you just, nigga, you just need to say that you a good man. I'm a good and man. And you have a home and that you cook meals for bitches and you make money. I'll, That's all you need I'll to put money, down. I'll he don't cook no meals bitches. for bitches. Because he gets them cooked for him and then he drops them like a bad habit nine months later. Well, that was that was in the past. Now okay. I'm, you know, I'm now, Yeah, now he's growing and glowing. He's no. trying to get better, yeah. you know? I'm already better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you better tell him. Do you have a personal story from when a girl did you wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, Madonna, not Nike. Uh, I don't want to talk about this one. Come on, I mean, I mean, this is sip and spill where we spill tea and sip wine. Nah, I was, I was. Spill your tea, spill it. Yeah, we ready for it. Spill it. This is bad. Spill it. Like to me, it's bad. Okay. It's like, I'm a, I'm a Virgo, first of all. Right? You're a Virgo. That's yeah. interesting. Uh, I'm a Virgo, so like I, I I love I love hard. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, like, I'm pulling all the stops. Like I'm, I'm, Not for the other bitch that you dropped after nine months. <laughs> <laughs> then I wasn't glowing, you feel me? I, I feel that, I feel that. Like it takes a charity. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, 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 I'm out here just trying to, you know, do everything. Do everything for her, okay. You know? And then, like, I'm inviting her to, like, you know, my niggas to say, woo, woo, woo. Like, we yeah. all hanging out. Yeah. The whole time. She trying to fuck my home, you know? Aww. Well, you know what? Sometimes the homie be finer than the nigga you talking to. Aww. So, you know what? I don't, the thing is, I don't agree don't. with that. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with, if you choose up, you can't choose differently with friends. Because honestly, this is why I say that. Because I mean, what if someone did that to you? You know? And it's like, I know because some niggas be acting like they don't care about that shit. But I think like family members, homies, like anything that's like in the close vicinity of a nigga, it's off limits no matter how y'all end. Right. So, so that's why you don't right. choose to meet you don't all choose, the friends. Yeah, you don't choose to meet all but, the friends. But like, I yeah. wanted her to be like part of like yeah, us. You, like and and that's, that's, very, that's very commendable of you because you know, most niggas try to hide a bitch from the world. So, because you know, every time you bring around your homies, your homies become the biggest comedians. Like, hey, hey, bitch, like, I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? No, so, no, it's commendable that she tried to do that, but she was too yeah. Like, that shit hurt. Uh, that shit does hurt. That no, after hurt. that? Oh, I, I, just he, he I just became a I just became a I mean, uh, that shit don't even. about money. Like, I don't even know what it was. Really? If, if I'm being Is honest. he taller than you? Yeah, he is tall. He's like 6'5. Okay, that's what it was. I mean, but y'all are both, I mean, he's six one and a half, ladies, so. <laughs> Yeah, at the half for me. Nah, at the half, put the like, respect it's, on my half. It's just, it was it was weird. Like, was this? How did you find that out? Just, no, he told me. Ah, yikes! So she slid his DM like maybe like two months in. No. Yeah. You know what? Niggas do all the time though. Like, how many times are you niggas homies try to slide in your DMs? 
you know, that's happened to me. Yeah. But the thing is, you gotta shut it down like real quick because you I do. think it's up to you. Because niggas will like, I feel like if you if you laugh at a niggas jokes too long, niggas would think they got a chance yeah. with you. So I'm like, nigga, you ain't funny, nigga. Shut the fuck up talking to know. me. I don't understand that shit. Like your homie sliding. I'm gonna of course tell my dude like, hey, your homie slid in my DMs. But y'all never do anything when I tell y'all that. They're like, oh, I, I just mean, know how to handle the situation. Yeah. Not, not, not even that. Not even that. Because often or like not even that. Out of the ego matter of it, and I know that I'm gonna be respectful. I don't tell my man, and I don't regard because I feel like I don't want to give so that nigga. Tell your man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give him any power. Like I just feel like that's from the disrespectful. So I know how to move around you. So yes. whenever I see him, no, I there's no con- there's no conversation. If you, like if my man brings you out, and I know you was in my DM. But I'm like, but you tell your man, right or no? No, because the thing is. The we fight. Yeah, cause I just I, and the thing is an ego thing. Like I don't want no nigga to feel like they got one up on my man. Period. So it's like me telling my man like, oh, this nigga trying to get with me. Cause let's be real, when you have an attractive mate, that's not uncommon. Yeah. And niggas gonna try whatever the fuck they gonna try. Right. So it's like you have to have confidence in the partner that you're with and just know that like they got your back. So I'm gonna do it out of like respecting your ego and keeping your ego in check. Cause you know niggas go off the of ego. We go off of emotions. Right. Niggas go off the of ego. Mm-hmm. So if they feel like one of their friends like. Even if you don't give your his nigga some play, he like I can't bring this nigga around none of my fucking bitches no more. Facts, yeah. no facts. Like if someone try to do like after that, like it's like he moving different uh, with this nigga, and I'm like sometimes these these niggas have history with like you only been dating this bitch for three months, and yeah, we like so it's damn, just like, it's like it changes yeah, the whole going, dynamic of their friendship, yeah. and it's like I'm not here to ruin fucking friendships, but I'm here to control how I interact I with all that. that shit. I respect that. No. I respect that. Nah, like it's, I mean, everything she said was right. Like there's no way. Mm-hmm. If my woman told me some shit like that, like, like it, a nigga try to, we gonna have to see so each other. I don't even fight. Like, not I'm, to say anything and just I don't know, I, like, I'm, see, I'm the type of like, from, let's say like, let's take the past two years. Like I'm a yeah. different person than I was like 27 and less, yeah. right? The past two years, we can talk about it. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be like, yo, like what's up? Like, you know, we gonna have a conversation. You didn't my friend <clears throat> I want her to tell me. Yeah, he just wanted to tell you. Yeah, I want her to tell me. Okay. Because I'm going to go check the nigga. Like, we don't even got to fight. But I just know, like, I'm too old to be fighting. Yeah, but I, personally, me, that's what I'm saying. If my nigga was to tell me that one of my friends was in his inbox, I'm going to want to fight. Like, the Scorpio in me is real. I'm just watching. Probably. Not even that. It's just, I don't, I don't. It's I not don't, worth it. Though. And then, like, not even that. I know it's. I know it's not worth it. But I don't tolerate no type of disrespect. Yes. So to me, it's like, bitch, you know who the fuck I am. Don't try to disrespect me. Try to talk to my nigga, bitch. Right. Do you think that you could compete with me? Because it's not a competition, bitch. I kill you. <laughs> Period. Can so we like, say this on, 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 on the other thing. Yeah, we about killing people. Not see? not really killing people, but just airing this bitch out one or two times so you don't fucking play with me. Like play with your mama, bitch, not me. So with that being said, like. Don't do that. I said, don't cause a problem because chances are, we. my, my mama already peeped that you and my real fucking friend, so I already knew and I know how to fucking move around you. Like, my nigga ain't got to tell me shit about you because I already peeped that energy myself. Like, you know when people aren't your real friends. Thanks. Like, it's up to you to see if those red flags are real because... I had friends that I was friends with for like three months. I'm like, nah, this bitch, this bitch ain't talking to me like that. She ain't doing that. But then when she do some real hell shit, I'm like, well, she showed me this shit three months ago when I really still kept being her friend. So people show you their red flags before it even comes to like partners. No, yeah. Like, I mean, woman intuition is so like a big thing. So you never finished your story. So she <laughs> slid in your friend's DM? No, so he like, so he wanted to, so the, the part that pissed me off okay. was like, so he, he apparently said he's, you know, wanted to see how far she was going to go. You know what I'm saying? So he egging no. it on. Yeah. No. Like he's egging it on. But at the same time, I'm still talk like we I'm still texting her, calling her up. And he no. egging it on. I said, nigga, no. what? No. So he tried to show me the messages like, oh, he's doing me a favor to see how far she was gonna go or if she was gonna pull up. Woo woo woo. I'm like, bruh, you should have told me this like two weeks ago. Like, what are you talking about? Oh no, nah, we that that nigga dead. Like, exactly. Yeah, like period. No. I was like, oh, appreciate you, my guy. Yeah, yeah I got it. Block, yeah, block, 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 block. Blockity, block, block. Got like it. you say, block and prosper, bitch. Hey, Hashtag I'm, block and prosper. Hey, I'm not, so we got some questions that. that we wanted to ask you. So we <laughs> noticed that most niggas they get their heart broken one time right. in third grade, it was and then right. they're like, "Fuck bitches, get money. Facts. I'm in this hoe. I'm gonna fuck all the hoes. Facts. I ain't gonna fall in love. Heart cold. I got an ice box where my Facts. heart." Is. To be all that Rats. shit I from third grade. third grade. Why y'all do that shit? Me. Why y'all do? Love, why, love. why y'all do that shit? my whole heart. Why? Like, why? Why y'all like that? I mean, men are not so like. I mean, let's let's talk about African men. 
like off time. Okay. African men are just not to talk to be yeah. vulnerable. Yeah, y'all like show any Man, emotion. Men's men, men's you men. I mean? Yeah. So when you actually show some type of yeah. care and emotion, and then she shit on you or do something that you just like blows your mind, you're like, oh okay. Well, I wasn't even supposed to show emotion anyway, so like I'm just gonna. Check. But for the next ten years, my nigga. Like, <laughs> why are we in a rush though? Like, I gotta, I gotta get mine's in. Women get theirs in, or well, some women. I think that women get their heart broken, but we women get their heart broken. We're supposed to forgive and try again. Men and the get their is, heart broken. They're like, fuck. I mean, everyone forever. is supposed to try again. I mean, right? just try again. But, but women are more, more willing. Yeah, we make an, we make a conscious effort to try to heal ourselves, and I, that's why I was saying earlier, men don't heal themselves. They just assume. Fall into the, the next Yeah, the, the worst thing is going to happen next and next, and they never actually. I don't think men ever actually heal. I don't, and I think therapy is a real thing. Men should go to therapy. Yes. I think that everyone should go to therapy. But you know, in the black community, we don't really think therapy is a thing. Mm -hmm. So I think more than ever, black men should take more control of their mental health because your mental health is going to help you with your relationships moving forward and like actually even finding a partner. Yes. Like have being a father. Those are the kind of things that you need to strive for because you know. It's gonna get lonely, and it's like y'all get to thirty, and y'all think that I'm thirty, I'm adult, I'm a man now. What? No, you're not. And it's because women mature I'm, a lot faster than men facts. do. Yeah. So we twenty three. We, we talk. We're not talking about this for this episode. Yeah. But we have. There's a conversation to have on why women mature a lot faster than men. Absolutely. But anyways, keep going. What you saying? No, honestly, it's just because. Well, I mean, that goes into the whole thing because we are raised to be wives and mothers, and men exactly. are just, like they raise their daughters and they love their sons. Period. That like yeah. men can do no wrong, and women, you have to cook for him. You have to. Be you perfect. have to do this for him. Yeah. You have to do this for him. And it's like you build your your daughter thinking that her life equates to getting married. Right. My mother always made me feel like my biggest accomplishments was getting married. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't about to get married because fuck that. I'm glad my mom never made me feel this way. My mom made me feel that way. My mom never made me feel. So what part of Nigeria you from? I'm Ibo. What, yeah, what a wedding. Oh. Yeah. Okay, me too. So, so yeah, my, I, I have like a good mom. Hey. Never. Oh, ever happy Independence Day! Thank you. Yeah, happy Thank Independence you. Day. It's the day. Happy it's my sister's birthday. Day. I know. Yeah. I, I, I want to give a shout out to Esther Khadija to Ravens because you my better half. Honestly, fuck them bitches. Yes. Okay. Wow. So who do you think gets played more, men or women? Women are snakes. So we men. are. No, that's when we said that. We I said, agree. We said the last I, episode. I I, I think men episode. get played, played more, oh, but facts. I feel like women get played harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can see. Yeah, that's definitely because women play get, play games play in the beginning, beginning, and guys play games the entire fucking the entire time. Fucking honestly, time. Yeah. nah, chill, chill. No, y'all do. No, but so like women set the precedent of like how a relationship would go. Like a woman is gonna like, oh, I'm gonna do this, or I ain't gonna text back in an hour to see, and I'm like, oh, you know that's what you gonna do. I text yeah, back in two seconds because I love you. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, uh, like I I'm waiting you, for you to I'm text like, me. I'm a stage five clinger. Like, if you text oh, me no, back, shit. I'm no. Honestly, the thing is, I feel the problem in this generation. People are so scared to be vulnerable. Like, bitch, if I like you, I like you. Facts. But if I don't, I don't. Mm -hmm. But so it's not. There's no need for me. There's no room to play to games. Play that, those games. Cause I think we're too fucking old for that. And you I'm like, do that shit and though. And I said, you don't like me. I'm 26 years old. I could be fine. Like, leave me alone. Like, leave me where you found me. But don't. Don't keep egging it on. Don't be a fuck nigga. Niggas never leave you where they find you. They, they don't. Keep going and going and going. And they want to peek in every two. And then they figure out they don't want you no more. And, and that's how you really feel. That's exactly how I feel. I don't because feel that way. Because never leave you where they find you. They, they don't. They, they, I don't understand why men like but, to pursue what they can't handle. But Why are also, you pursuing yeah. me when you know in your mind you don't want me? So don't do, don't jump through the hoops. Don't do all this extra shit. Don't take me on a date. Don't yeah. spend money on me. Don't yeah. do all this extra shit. Because I'm going to think you like me after doing all this shit. Yeah. Like, you know you don't really like me. I think just, I'm not spending my money no, on somebody I don't No, like. the thing is, I think men yeah. like you, but it's, they don't know how to navigate things. I think they don't guys, really like you. They like the way you look. They like what you can do. They, guys like the idea of you women, mm -hmm. but they don't really like the women. I, I agree and disagree. because yeah, I, I, I agree and disagree because it takes someone... So visually, because I mean, even with women, we have to look at you and be like, okay, I can fuck with that first, yeah. and then you take a chance to get to know you. But so, that doesn't mean they like you. They like the idea. They like the way you look. You like they like what you can do for them. Bitch, I don't like you. Like if a, a man, the first time I see you and think you fine, I don't like you. The first I'm time, not talking about but, that. I'm talking about niggas who jump through hoops, knowing they don't really like you like that. But yeah, I think, this but man, honestly, there's, there's that's no man saying, that's gonna just waste his money just to waste no, his honestly, money. Honestly, I'm gonna say that. I mean, maybe if they have money. 
Maybe, but I'm just saying, me personally, from what the experience I've had, niggas don't do shit like that if they don't like you. Yeah. Girl, I've had a n- nigga, nigga do all that shit for me the whole time he was fucking married. So, that's different. That's, that's a whole different story. No, no I'm saying married different men different is a whole different yeah, story than like single men. Single, single men. single men have We're not doing opportunity to do everything with everything. anybody else that they like. Exactly. So I think there takes a certain amount of liking someone. Like, I'm not saying that they love you or they want to be with you, but someone has to like you to put effort. Because, like, we keep saying, energy is so important. It and is. if someone is spending time and giving you fucking energy they like you like remember when we were talking about oh boy and you were like he texts me every day i don't know i'm like bitch he like you and you were like i don't know and i'm like bitch no nigga even in the quarantine it, bitch don't text me if we ain't fucking with each other like you're yeah. not that fucking bored there's other bitches you can hit their line yeah and it's like, what if they send a text to all the bitches and they're just waiting for which bitch to reply then that's them <laughs> honestly because i think it all but you gotta understand like he said women set the president of like relationships so yes. if you if you don't text a nigga back they get the fucking clue yeah yeah but if sometimes you, i know but if you constantly are just giving them like a little nudge or a little nugget they're like okay well i can see if we can rekindle what we fucking had mm-hmm. or if we don't it's like sometimes you have to be ruthless with niggas for them to understand Understand, but it takes like you understanding where you're at with them, yeah. and sometimes we don't even know where we're at with them. That's why we and don't. That's the problem. Yeah. We don't. Because we don't a man will get a hint from them. like what's been going on, and he's like, "Oh, okay, bad. This is what you want to do. Yeah. Two can play this game. We can yeah. do it." That's true. And but, then at the end of the day, you fuck up, and then like. You but let's be real. As adults, process. sometimes we don't we don't know what we want, and instead we of know. us yeah. expressing we don't know what we want, we keep pursuing things and keep acting off of emotions instead of saying what is going to be good for my long term peace. Not even about in the moment, because if we say in the moment shit, in the moment shit is yeah, fucking yeah, we gonna hang out and get food together and shit like that, but long term is this someone that feeds my soul is someone that i can really like build with and i don't think we ever think about past the moment because the generation we're in is instant gratification with instagram and all these other things so it's just knowing who you are as a person that's going to help you picking the partner that you want so do you think fuck niggas or fuck fuck bitches can reform absolutely anyone is you know able to change i feel like everyone has redemption qualities even like doesn't matter. If yeah. you want to change, you will change. You will change. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. With age brings wisdom. Oh. Sometimes. Sometimes. Black man. Talk no shit. Some people be old as hell and well, still be acting childish. The anom- anomaly because, right. Because, yeah. And, and we age, said, why? Because so they don't heal. Right. Age is supposed to bring wisdom, but yeah. unfortunately, that's not always the case. Because mm-hmm. I've talked to guys who are older than me. <laughs> think that they were shit with that age. And yes. I'm just like, you are too Hello, old. Yeah. You are too old to have this to have the emotional intelligence of a third, a three year old. You know, three-year-old like bitch. African men, it's Why not just African men. Why do you always go to the African men? Because I, she talks like, like they, she did, no, I she did, Af- oh, okay. no, she did a lot of African oh, okay. men. I, I did I've never dated African men, I dated my life. I usually don't date African men, but never, never dated them. I usually, I usually don't date people who aren't African. Like, if you are, I'll that. give you a chance. But my preference is African men. Yeah. So, yeah. I've, I've noticed yeah. that... My daddy, the reason why I don't date African men, <laughs> I'm <being> dead ass. <laughs> I've so noticed that African men, their emotional intelligence is very low. Mm-hmm. And it's frustrating because as a woman, our emotional intelligence is very, very high. high. Yeah. And it's difficult trying to find a balance with someone who doesn't think emotionally with someone who does always, Yeah, they always think logically, logically and they always think like... They want to solve your problem. Yep. Sometimes, sometimes I don't want my problem solved. I, just I, want just know, I know yeah. how to solve my own mm-hmm. problem. I just want to talk to you and you listen to what I have to say. Yeah. Don't try to solve my fucking problem. Yeah. You know? And see, that's... I guess that's... That's the... That's... It's hard because... If you haven't experienced something, or if you haven't learned from something, you, you don't can't have to say grow. anything. Just listen. Yeah, no, and that's yeah, the of course. Like, yeah. I mean, most, like, like he most of my dreams are like, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. Like, I want her to, you know, I'm yeah. gonna do this. Do this. Like, that's you what like to raised. show more than y'all tell. Yeah, yeah. but you sometimes, mean? you know. But like, and that's like, I'm, I'm blessed because like I've lived, you know, outside of like my cultural circle, mm-hmm. the way I was brought up, and like I've seen different cultures, learn from different cultures. And I'm not like a stereotypical evil man. Cause like a friend was telling me today, like she was like, oh, he wants to be the provider, blah, blah, blah. But I still want to work. Like I still want to be able to pitch in. Mm-hmm. And like he, she, like he's like, she was like. Was she an African? To, yeah, she's Nigerian and okay. he's Nigerian. Okay. But he wants her to be like, just like a his mom. Life, yeah. yeah. And I was like, just leave. At this point, okay. like you're already you're already losing I don't, I, yeah, I don't because like, he's comparing you to his mom already. You're not gonna you're never gonna win you're, that. You're never gonna win comparing someone to someone's mama. And the thing is, I don't like the whole ideal of like a man being the sole provider and this because I think that's a way of control. 
because if you don't have any money, because I, my mom, if you don't have money, you don't have power. You don't, not even just power. It's because you have to ask this nigga for this. You gotta ask if you can go somewhere. You, you got power. You have to bear his fucking children and just stay the fuck home. Facts. Yeah. And I want to bear your children because I want to fucking do it. Shit. I'm definitely not a stay at home type of person. I'm not I don't want. I, I want to have my own job. I want to. I, I want to have a life outside, outside of, of my husband. A life, a mother. Yeah, just That's, individual. I want to have my yeah. mimosas. I'm I like more than just a wife and mother. I mean, yeah. Not so, my own person. No, like, so I've noticed that guys tend to like share nudes. <laughs> share nudes. Yeah. Have you ever had like one of your homies like share like a nude that he got from a girl? Oh, facts. Okay. Why do y'all? Why do y'all do that? Why, why not? If it's someone that we know, we're not taking it seriously. Why not? Fuck uh, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't share nudes? No, no, we don't. The only time that we share nudes is if it's an unsolicited dick. Like that if you send me if you send me dick pics <laughs> and I ask for look, first of all, I'm grown. Don't send me your fucking dick, bitch. Like if I ain't seen the purpose person, I don't need to see it. I don't want to see it. And no one no bitch is saying Send me a pic. No, 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 I do ask for nut videos, though. Bro, you can send me a video what? and that it. You know what? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, last year after I got up out of my thing. I found out like women love that shit. Yeah, like not in like, my no, no women I, love I, that. I want you like to nut on the screen so I can feel like I'm catching your nut. No, like no, yeah. women love that. Like, I've never seen it. No. Cannot relate. Maybe they can get only fans only, page. only my man. I'm not. If you just send me a dick picture out of nowhere, because I had this one guy. I told you about it. This man sent me a yeah, dick, dick picture pic, like, every day, every single day, day for like a month, for a week. Oh, that was a month. No, it was a week. It's and been long. I will block him. And he exactly. would make another snap pack. Do y'all know what she that's, did, that's though? Obsessive. She, like, screenshotted him sending a dick pic and put it on Twitter. And I'm scrolling. I see a dick. I said, oh. On your Twitter? Oh, yeah. How would you do I that? Said, I said, oh, you no. tag him at least? No. no. I don't know who this man is. And why did you put it? Just posted it? I said, oh, no. It's a dick. Keep scrolling, y'all. Keep but, like, scrolling. Why would you send a dick picture every single day to someone He wanted to don't know. know. Oh, he talking wanted about what he wanted. Yeah. And then I block him. And he'll make another he snap pack. What he wanted, he had to show you like this is what it is. Regardless of that's that's some <laughs> that's some fuck nigga shit. He that's some for shit. some money. <laughs> I tried to like try to tell him like you're going to jail for this shit. But he didn't care about going to jail. So. Well, I was I was in the shade room in October. I uh, love the shade room. I was in the shade room. In oh, October. were you like posted like nah. like they posted you? Oh, yeah, they posted me on. Oh, on the shade room. fuck uh, nigga. <laughs> if you're on the shade room, you're a fuck nigga. <laughs> if you comment on the shade room, you're a fuck nigga. Me? Right. I, I comment every fucking day. So I, I got on the shade room in October and it was interesting because like even like the comments. Did your um likes go up because of that shit? Oh yeah, like oh definitely. I'm not gonna lie, sure. when I went on Ed's page and left in that comment, I got like followers off of that. Cause bitch, you was disrespectful. I was disrespectful. And he deserved every single every single sentence That's of that disrespect. Damn. <laughs> he did. He deserved all of it. I know. No, but like it's just like one of those things where it's like shit just happens, mm -hmm. right? And. And you looking at like you? I'm like I was looking at my phone. I was like, yo, like this is real life. Like I'm getting this ad titties, all kinds of wild stuff. And like and it took me a you month. You were saying ass and titties? Like after I got on, after I got on shade room, oh, it took me a month to clean up my DMs. I was like, yo, I've like I've never done that before. I've never done that either. I've never been. So I'm honestly, shocked because no. that's like that's like I I I know the other end of it. Mm -hmm. Than this like conservative side, yeah. Because like I told my like I have like like three really like close friends like three, like three girl a female best friends and I told I have told them like yo like these women are out here like wild and out and they're like what oh my god no I was like no like here I mean and this can we really say that we saw someone on social media and we never stalked them and see if they were fine in real life because I've done that I've before. never seen the I news saw, though like, I would never like yeah I never seen the news. Don't send news? <laughs> To a red Rainbow? social media? Really? No, I've never done that. I've never personally done that. I don't that. even know I don't why you send news even personally. Act shocked about that. I'm, yeah, I don't send why news. Why would you send news to a nigga you don't no, even no. know? No, <laughs> no. I saw someone that I thought was So get his attention? Yikes. You think no. that being naked gets a nigga his attention? No, no I'm just saying. Do. Like, I'm just saying. Like, that's what that's what women are thinking. I don't know. Exactly. That's why they get left on red. What you got to think about? That's what they get left on red. That's not women. That's not women. Women know you don't get a man by being naked. Let's be real. I'm yeah. sorry. But there's a difference between a woman and it's preach. Because like a woman thinks like her pussy's so good and she's gonna keep the nigga. Like we talked about it last episode. Like, no, no, pussy. It's not there. No, no. If he doesn't want to be kept, and it's not honestly, you have to be mentally stimulating. Because if you can't stimulate my mind and my pussy, bitch, you got. 
Wow. And my bank account. Don't forget the bank account. Hello. So you, that, that's, 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 that's what you're going to do? That's, that's, that's what you're going to do? That's exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways. But no, bitch. Don't you be sending news to niggas you don't know on social media. That's yeah, weird. That is weird. That's actually a crime. It's illegal. <laughs> it is a crime. I'm reporting you, bitch. It's right. Like, crime. what? Right. Nah, don't do that shit. No, nah, nah, women do that shit. Like, straight up. Like, and I'm like, why? Like, okay. Like, that's cool. What are you going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, women, just grow and glow and get better because, you know what? But fuck niggas going to receive it. They going to like it and they going to leave you on red, bitch. Period. Sex. That's some weird ass shit. Weird shit. But oh, anyways, if you see a nigga with some hoop ass earrings, he a fuck nigga. If he has a nose ring, he a fuck nigga. If he drives a white Audi, he a fuck nigga. If he has a BMW, he a fuck nigga. If he got Adidas pants, he a fuck nigga. So, that being said, we, that is how you spot a fuck nigga. We showed y'all how to spot a fuck nigga. And we really appreciate y'all for listening to this episode. So, when you get the time, y'all should follow us on our social medias at Twitter at The Real Sip and Spill. On Twitter, it is Sip and Spill 1. And we need y'all to rate, comment, give us your commentary because we fucking need it. Period. Nice. And also, you can leave us those voice notes. Like yeah, because he gave yeah. us a voice note and we got fucking love it. My, and we put yeah. some of your little comments in here, so nigga, we fucking with it. I fuck with him. Uh, yeah, I fuck with him too. I forgot his name, podcast name. It's I think it's hear me out, hear me hear out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, <laughs> We fuck with you. We I was, do fuck with you. I was listening to his podcast on the way here. This nigga is funny. He's podcast. funny as hell. He is funny. So, Hear Me Out podcast, it's a heart from here to you. Hello. We fuck with you. We Thank love you. Thank you, John, for coming. We appreciate you it for putting a, up with was, us. It was a pleasure. Like, I, I'd love to do this more often, if I'm being honest. Oh. Like, I, I had a good time. You know, so. I'm glad you did. I'm Are glad you, you had a good time. Are you a little bit? Nah. You? He's yeah. not. So, I think he needs some more monkey shoulder. Chill, chill. I got to work. But no, Hell like real, like real talk, like this this was this was fun, you know, like just having a conversation. Like it's 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 not all the time that you find like you know a group of women or it's like people that you can just. We love y'all. <laughs> Tune in every fucking Sammy. Wednesday at six o'clock. Peace. Peace and love.